as soon as mother's back from her kitchen inspection, I'm ordering up a 16-ounce T-bone. Rare. The food disposal expert scrapes the leftovers into a leak-proof bag and brings the plate to the autoclave for cleansing and sterilization. Oh! My! Voila! Oh, wonderful! Um, do you think you could actually cook my steak in there, too? Phase one? Very good. Phase two? Oh. <laughs> this stinks! We wouldn't need to hand sterilize if we expanded the kitchen to fit in a real-life autoclave like the one at Billy Bob's Steakhouse. Yeah, we can't afford it, Sugar Mop. I'll start saving myself right now. Why don't we do it ourselves? Now there's a brilliant idea. It sure is. Uh. No. <clears throat> oh, well. Oh. Aha! Now this sledgehammer comes in mighty handy for driving in fence posts on the range. Give it! Wait, stop! No, whoa! That's dangerous! You could have wrenched your back. Stand like this. <laughs> That's my boy. <gasps> Got some asparagus tips for you, wormies. They're organic. Ah! What are you doing? Our son <gasps> took down the wall. Can I have some money now? Ah! Did anybody think about building the new wall first? Uh, well, <laughs> you see, we, uh, <clears throat> because... The floor in my room is wobbling! <laughs> ah! could just go back for some sponges and spray bottles. Sorry, lady. Not safe. Let's make do with what we have, honey apron. I also saw some corrosion on your old plumbing and wiring. Corrosion? I won't tolerate corrosion. No, ma'am. Everything's got to be replaced. It's a big job. While you're here, I'd like you to do some remodeling for the little lady. Sure thing. What'd you have in mind? Can you move that wall over there? That wall over there? Uh, that's what I said, Chief. Downtown has really gone downhill. <gasps> that garbage pail is almost overflowing. <gasps> I can see moss in the cracks. Don't worry, I'm sure our room will be just dandy. Is this it? How long are we stuck here? It's uh, not so bad. It has all the amenities. Tiny TV, uh, baby coffee maker. Oh, oh, look, a mini microwave. Huh. Where's the autoclave? <laughs> hey! They filled the fridge for us. That candy is not a gift. It's expensive. The clerk took our credit card, so they could charge us for anything we take. Oh, this super stinks! Now, boys, since we're gonna be here for a while, and it is a bit, uh, cramped, I want to establish some boundaries. From that desk leg to that lamp, there's a line. This side is parent space, and that side is, is child space. From that mirror to the middle of the bed is... Uh, are you even listening to me? Uh, hey, Dad! Girl pants is on your bed! Uh, eat it, girl pants! <laughs> hello? Uh, hello? Father, show on my 
games I haven't seen for weeks. Uh, sorry, son. If I don't watch the bull riding, I can't pick up techniques. <laughs> it was so nice of you to volunteer to cook the potatoes for dinner, Wayne. Thank you, Mommy. Oops. Oh, dear. Um, I'll take care of that. Um, maybe you could clean up your things? Dad said it's my space, like my room. That certainly smells like your room. Boys, boys, I can't hear the rodeo. I can't find the oven cleaner! <laughs> <laughs> Please take your knee off my thigh. Your thigh's on my side of the bed. It's not. It's two. There is the center. There is the line. There's my thigh. There's your knee. Well, I'm bigger. I need more space. <laughs> you each get the same amount of space. Go to sleep. Uh, huh. Stop chewing the covers. Oh. Uh. 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 No, that's enough. You two get along and love one another. That's what brothers do. Good night. Oh, you warthog. I burped on my side. That's it. I was going to let each of you have a candy bar tomorrow, but not anymore. Wayne, get over there. I think uh, <clears throat> microwave bacon, eggs, and toast could be this good. Everything's chewy. under my bed. It was a box of worms. We've grown up together. Could it have been taken away with a rubble? Wait! Stop! Oh, Ferdinand! Oh. Sorry, kid. Uh, I didn't realize they had names. Well, they do. Roland? Little Samantha, Jacobo, and Wayne? Worms in a hotel room? Sounds pretty unhygienic. Please don't tell. What's in it for me? <laughs> Faster, girl pants! Secrets is hungry work. I can't wait to see my new kitchen. I can't wait to mess up my room. I can't wait to be alone. What have you done? You told me to move that wall over here. I did no such thing. That wall over there. 
Maybe we can get some of that uh, fancy mini stuff they had at the hotel. Well, mm -mm -mm. Microwave toast. And, and, well, there'll be less to clean. <laughs> Wait! I need to rescue my worms! Run! <laughs> <laughs> worms? What worms? Lotion! gone home, Tony. Nah, -uh. I got stuck in a popcorn carton. That film was the coolest! They really explained it all. I know aliens are coming now. I know it! Nonsense. That film was nothing but some guy's overactive imagination and a dog in a rubber suit. One film might be wrong, but a whole section of the video store cannot lie! Aliens are coming! The signs are everywhere! <sighs> See? You can't say anything! That's like you just admitted it! Ha 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 ha! You cannot deny the truth! <laughs> Aliens are fun! Come on, come on, come on! Come on! Wayne? Are you still awake? No! There! See? How do you explain that? <laughs> Well, there could be any number of explanations for a bit of ground getting scorched. Such as what? Side spaceship. Yeah, well, that doesn't prove nothing. You might even be an alien, trying to hide the frightening truth. Okay, girl pants, what about these lines? Don't act all innocent. You know they're landing strips. You probably put them there. They come in here, and uh, the saucers land here. This place is just one big spaceport. Sorry, Wayne. Those white lines are for basketball, blue ones are for hockey, that's for hopscotch, and... You're beginning to sound more like an alien every minute. <gasps> ah! What about that? A two-headed alien mutation. Definite proof. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Uh, girl pants? What's that? It's a sign! A real sign! Wayne, we don't know what it was. I do! It was a UFO! And unless someone can identify it, that's what it still is! Okay, let's go and identify it then. Lucian Cramp! Get back in here! Wayne! But I just want to stay up and watch the carnage as Soap City is destroyed. Wayne thinks aliens are coming. It's bedtime, Wayne. Uh. Good thinking, Mrs. C. Oh, Agent X! But I thought you only dealt with cleanliness issues. It's true, Mrs. C. I am a sanitary agent. But I fear something may be out there with lower standards of hygiene. <laughs> hey, Mom bought me a bike. Come see. Wow, Tony, it's perfect! <sighs> it used to belong to a circus chimp. Mom says I have to wear my safety flag when I ride it. But it makes me top heavy. See? And I've been practicing a lot. Hey, 
Why don't I get my bike and we can go riding together? There's something I wish to investigate, and you can help me. Okay. Ow! Sorry. That's the truth, people! I witnessed it with my own eyes! Aliens are landing! I saw the first ship! Be frightened now! Panic! <laughs> hey, you can ask my brother Girl Pants if you don't believe me! He saw the alien spaceship, too! Well, I saw a glow, but not a spaceship. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. Yeah, yeah, of course! Aliens! <laughs> he just, I... <laughs> Other ways to make people believe you. Nice work, son. Diffuse panic, pamper the public. Oh, uh, thanks. See anything glowing yet? No, just normal things. You? Nope. Just be thankful they didn't suck you up into the mothership. Well, maybe they've already probed into soap salesmen. But there are aliens all over the paper this morning. <sighs> it's hysteria. No, it's not. It's the invasion! <laughs> it's cool! I think maybe we should stop looking out the window now. We should go in the basement and hide. Uh-oh. Tony! What? I don't know if we should go in there, Lucian. If you saw one little green man, there might be more of them. <gasps> Those are Wayne's clothes, Tony. The aliens probably abducted him. Naked! That's what aliens do. Go on, Tony. You need to get your bike, too. I... I can't. I'm too wobbly. I might fall off and get abducted. Fine, Tony. Be scared. I'll go on my own. Poor Lucian. He's probably with the aliens now. He was a nice kid, too. Oh, Lucian, don't go. Wait for me. Where are you going? Uh, I have to rescue Lucian, Mom. He's gone to get himself abducted by aliens. But it's after dark, Tony. Mom, this is an emergency. Emergency or not, Tony, you still need your safety flag and a nightlight. <sighs> Freeze, being from beyond. Show me your hands, if you have any. That's no alien. That's my brother, Wayne! No, I'm not! I'm an alien! Look, I'm green! <laughs> ah! Real aliens! They're coming! Huh? Ah! Lucian! Hey, the glowing thing! It's right behind you! Ah! Help me! Lucian! <laughs> I'm sorry, son, but using glow worms to perpetrate a hoax in a time of extraterrestrial crisis is a crime. But there are no extraterrestrials. And those glow worms are my nightlight. My mom makes me wear them. Don't go trying to pin the blame on your mother, son. You're in deep enough trouble already. 
Hello. Tony, oh. what's going on? What's all the fuss out here? Oh, have more aliens been spotted? <gasps> Hit the deck, people. Ah. There's something sneaking up on us. Oh, it's Wayne. What? This child has the mark on his ears. A sure sign of alien abduction. I told you. Hey! Oh! Let go! What are you... Don't worry, <laughs> Mrs. C. I'll bring him back tomorrow after tests and deprogramming. Stop struggling, Wayne. Agent X is not an alien. There's nothing to worry about, Lucian. It's for his own good. I agree.